Hello, my name is Jonathan Ward, and I am a student who has had the privilege of being a part of the 8th grade CHA class of 2018. This year has been amazing, and it has been great to see how God has been working in, the, in all of the lives of the students. From Washington, D.C. to the 8th grade play, this year has brought our class closer to one another and closer to God. Throughout 8th grade, this passage of scripture could be applied to everything we have done. Psalm 66 verses 1 through 4 reads, Shout for joy to God all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Give to him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies come cringing to you. All the earth worships you and sings praises to your name. They sing praises to your name. These few verses reflect what the eighth grade students want to do today, which is glorifying God. Before we watch these students present their God-given talents as an act of worship, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the amazing year we've all had at CHA. Please let the students express their talents by glorifying you and giving you praise. We also ask that these students can inspire all of us to do something in our lives to glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
walked among the shadows You wiped my tears away I felt the pain of heartbreak And I've seen the brighter days And I've prayed prayers to heaven From my lowest place I have held the blessings God you give and take away No matter what I have your grace is On the mountains I will bow my life to the one who set me there In the valley I will lift my eyes to the one who sees me there When I'm standing on the mountain I didn't get there on my own When I'm walking through the valley I know I am not alone Your God of the hills and valleys God of the hills and valleys And I am not alone I've watched my dreams get broken In you I hope again No matter what I know I'm safe inside your hands on the mountains I will bow my life to the one who set me there In the valley I will lift my eyes to the one who sees me there When I'm standing on the mountain I didn't get there on my own When I'm walking through the valley I know I am not alone Your God of the hills and valleys Hills and valleys, God of the hills and valleys And I am not alone Father, you give and take away Every joy and every pain Through it all you will remain Over it all Father, you give and take away Every joy and every pain Hello, everybody. I'd like to invite you to stand and worship with me today. We're going to sing a song called I Woke Up This Morning. And the thing is, is I'm going to need you guys to be my drum set. I'm going to need you all to clap and hold that tempo for me. I'm no messing up out here. All right? So if I'm going, I woke up this morning with my mind. Staying on Jesus. All right? You guys got that? All right. Here we go. I woke up this morning with my mind Staying on Jesus I woke up this morning with my mind Staying on the Lord I woke up this morning with my mind Staying on Jesus Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah You guys can sing along I woke up this morning with my mind Staying on Jesus I woke up 
woke up this morning with my mind staying on the lawn. I woke up this morning with my mind staying on Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Walking and talking with my mind staying on Jesus. Yeah. Talking with my mind, staying on the Lord. Walking and talking with my mind, staying on Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Singing and praying with my mind, staying on Jesus. Yeah, I'm singing and praying with my mind, yeah. Sing on the Lord. Singing and praying with my mind. Stay on Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 No condemnation with my mind. Staying on Jesus, yeah, no condemnation with my mind. Oh, oh, sing, stay on the Lord. No condemnation with my mind. Staying on Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I woke up this morning with my mind. Staying on Jesus, yeah, I woke up this morning with my mind. Staying on the Lord, I woke up this morning with my mind. Staying on Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing that part again, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you. You may be seated. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a future and a hope. He is jealous for me, loves like a hurricane. I am a tree bending beneath weight of his wind and mercy when all of a sudden i am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory and i realize just how beautiful you are and how great your affections are for me
and God demonstrates his true love for us by Christ dying on our cross for us. My mother was committed to raising me with Christian values and to help me develop a faith in Jesus Christ. Driving down Waukegan Road as she did frequently, the Lord allowed for my mother to see CHA. Having gone to the All Girls High School of Marillac years before, she saw a sign for Snowflake Festival and wondered what the school had become. She knew that she was sold on the school after her discussion with Mrs. Severson when two elementary-aged boys sealed the deal as they pointed to her and yelled, there she is, all the while running towards her, only to give her a big hug. I knew without a doubt that God was at work that day, ensuring that I would be able to grow up at such an amazing school. This is my 11th year at CHA, and I can look back and see the difference it has made in my life. I remember in kindergarten, when I did not deeply understand why Jesus is so important to us. I remember being in chapel and hearing whoever was speaking say that if you do not, did not accept Jesus, you would die. And I thought, oh no, I don't want to die. Now I understand the relationship that we need to have with God and the importance of Jesus' death on the cross for us. From then to now, it would not have happened without all of my teachers. I especially remember in fifth grade when Mrs. Weber taught girls Bible. One lesson was especially memorable to me. We were reading the four Gospels, and as a group, we were trying to figure out why the Gospels had slight differences in accounts of the things Jesus did or said. She told us to pretend that we were news reporters at a basketball game. One of us was told to focus on how the coaches act, another on the food being served, one on the players, and the other on the tickets being sold. We were all at the same game, but we all had our own perspective of it. The same with the four Gospels. However, I truly did not start to desire reading the Bible for myself until seventh grade in Mrs. Ledbetter's girls' Bible class. She showed us how we could analyze each and every word over and over with countless cross-references and how to deepen our understanding as we read. Her passion for the word inspired me to discover more. Another thing that impacted my faith were the many chapels we have had. One time, the sixth graders presented what they learned at Trace for Tomorrow to us when we were in first grade. I was so excited to go that when I got home, I picked up a backpack and started filling it with crayons, markers, and whatever else I needed for the trip that would not take place for another five years. Through the years, I have learned many valuable lessons at chapels such as that one. Looking back, I will miss those days of snack times, story time after lunch, and reading through illustrated Bibles. However, I know that God has equipped me and prepared me for my journey in life, and all the teachers, staff, friends, and experiences at CHA have shaped me to be the person I am today. I truly give glory to God for leading my mom to CHA nearly 12 years ago. CHA is more than a school. It is a community and a family. By always being so welcoming to my Nana and Tata, who were sure to come to every school event and activity, they showed me God's love. In leading me, not only by words, but by example, they have showed me God's love. By truly listening to me, and being with me when I needed help, they have showed me God's love. I want to thank all of the teachers and staff who have shaped me into being who I am by showing God's love to me, especially Miss Russell and Mrs. Ledbetter, the eighth grade homeroom teachers who have worked side by side for so many years. Thank you.
confused I know I heard you loud and clear So I followed through But somehow I ended up here I don't want to think I may never understand That my broken heart is a part of your plan When I try to pray all I've got is hurt and these four words Thy will be done Thy will be done Thy will be done I know you're good don't feel good right now And I know you think Things I could never think about It's hard to count it all joy Distracted by the noise Just trying to make sense Of all your promises Sometimes I gotta stop Remember that you're gone
Thank you all for coming to the 8th grade Glorify Chapel. I hope that you can see the many different ways that we can glorify God, the creator of everything. Please join me in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for all the blessings you have given us. Thank you for the opportunity for our class to go to a good Christian school all these years. Thank you for our parents who have supported us throughout these years. Thank you most of all for your son, Jesus Christ, and the wonderful gift of salvation. I thank you for all the ways that we can reflect your light towards others. I pray that you can help us and continue to shine your light in the darkness. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you. Thank you for all of those who performed. What a blessing. I will take every opportunity that I can to say thank you to the one who actually started this glorified chapel, and this is her last glorified chapel, and that is Miss Robin Russell. <laughs> Miss Russell, will you come on up for a minute? Come on up. Now I have to tell you, 
I have never had Miss Russell as a teacher. I would love to have her as a teacher, but I have to tell you, she tough. <laughs> she is hard, but I love the way she teaches, and not only that, I'll tell you, every time students come back to visit CHA, Miss Russell is one of those teachers that people come back to visit, and she genuinely cares about students. She generally cares about your walk with the Lord, and if you're struggling with that, she wants to know that. Um, she has given so much, and many of the things that we do today are because of Miss Russell and her hard work. And so, can we give her just one more thank you? Thank you. Truly, truly, it's going to be hard. She will be missed. Well, with that, I want to say thank you so much, families who've come um, to hear these wonderful talents, all for God's glory. It was such a blessing. Thank you. All of you have a great weekend. Enjoy.